team being the number one seed playing the number six seed here at Christian Heritage School. They're going to be
shots and find your fellow teammates to make sure that those passes are hitting where they need to hit. Quick inbound pass from Ebac. McAvoy throwing the ball back to run that point. Doran coming over in the corner. Looking at a quick pass to Mark Lakemore for an easy two, but rims off. Neiman with another tough rebound. Too strong off the glass. And CHS comes down with that rebound. Looking at a quick pace. 50. Dribbling between two EVAC defenders, maintains possession. Pulling it back up to 14. Number 12 open for three. And that is two solves off the glass. 55 gets the rebound. Black from the high by Caleb Doran. Great second effort on the help side there from Doran, number 13, to stop that offensive rebound put back attempt. Teeters looking. Caleb over in the corner. Doran for three. That is rimmed off again. Some fight on the lower part for the rebound. Keeps it out. Legmore again kicking it back out to Doran. Doran looking for Neiman, too hot to handle there, and that pass is given away. CHS trying to dribble, stolen by Blakemore. Blakemore looking for an open man, Doran to McAvoy. McAvoy kicking it up, nice little floater from the paint, unable to get that roll. The shots is not falling for either team. That was a lack of effort, both case. 55 dribbling over the screen, those 55 teeters from Ebac. Kicking out to the corner for 12, 12 in the paint. Hesitation, step, floater. Hard off the back iron. Teeters grabs the rebound, looking at a push base. Up to Blakemore, another little too strong, but the save goes to Neiman, who again misses that. CHS is going to cut that lead with these two free throws. First one is up and good for number 55 on CHS. Score currently 4 to 3. 2 minutes 52 seconds left in the first quarter. 55 second attempts. Is up and good as well. Evac inbounds the ball. Going up the court. Sam McNamara looking for some help right there. Dribbles over on the left. Beats his man. Kicks it to Doran. Doran over the corner for Tressler, who just entered the game for three. Too strong. Yeah. 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 CHS playing a strong 1-3-1 zone defense against the Eagles. Eagles going more of a man defense to pick up on their attack of aggressive style, attack aggressive style here at CHS. And both teams stifling each other here in this first quarter. A very low scoring affair. Two minutes left in this first quarter. Only seven to four. Evac leading. And we'll see how the last two minutes of this quarter plays out. A little bit of pressure go. coming from CHS on the inbound pass. McAvoy getting that ball from Teeter's inbound. Beats his man easily. Looking at pushing pace, going up and under, trying to get the roll. Blakemore fighting for the rebound, tries to put it back, unable to get it. Tressler gets it knocked off his fingers. 
Chess, number 32, picking it back up to the top between the circles. Now 50, looking for 55 down low, unable to do anything else. He pulls it back out because of the defense. They're looking to set up their offense. 34 down low, number 32. He puts up a floater that goes off the top of the rim. Peters comes down with that rebound, puts it back to McAvoy so they can set up their offense in the way that they want to see it done. McAvoy using his left, going to Dorn on the wing. Tressler again, open for three in the corner. here to get a shot up with 1.6 seconds left. Second quarter. 
Evac is going to have possession to start second quarter. Going again from right to left. Evac taking that first possession. Coach Nate McAvoy cheering on. Aaron pass inbound from Jackson Evac. Jackson Tressler for three. <laughs> Uh, another offensive rebound and second chance attempt from CHS into 55. Unable to get that. Michael Newman comes down with it. And they're going to call out of bounds on CHS for having that possession. Matthew Thompson in. Jackson Tressler. Sam McAvoy. And there's a lot of contact coming from number 22 on McAvoy. And that foul is called on number 22, CHS. We have Mike Lehman, Mark Blakemore also in right now. Some pressure coming from CHS in the backcourt. Making sure that they can get that ball inbound and McAvoy dribbling up from the backcourt. That pressure releases from CHS. The back in goes now, dribbling off. McAvoy again gets his pocket push from CHS. Up and under, and the foul. Pass a hoop, and the harm for CHS number 22. And they are just unable to dribble past that backcourt pressure. We need to make sure that they can get their offense moving. Okay, thank you. 22 up and in. Three-point play for CHS. Gets them quickly back in this game. 13 to 9. Pass back to Thompson. Thompson able to bring that ball up in the fourth count. Looking to get a back-to-back -back in order to set up their offense. He is now dribbling up back into the top of the key. Thompson open for three. paying off. They have two quick fouls to start the second quarter and they need to be very careful. And another, careful with another air pass from the Evac Eagles. Jackson Tressler gets across the line and now they swing it over the wing for McAvoy to set up the ball. Now, wide open down low. Neiman dribbling, passing it back out to Tressler and makes a quick head from in the corner. Down back to Neiman who muscles it. Chess dribbling at the corner, going in baseline, stops short, dribbles it back out. Loud chance coming from the Evac faithful crowd here. Want the defense to stifle. 55 going up, gets the nice floater over the shoulder of McAvoy. That was a mismatch and he made it count. McAvoy dribbling to his left, coming back to the corner, up at the top of the key, getting all the way in, draws the foul again from CHS. Nice move back to his right hand. And able to get the contact. He's going to be rewarded for that effort with two free throws for the Evac Eagles. McAvoy's first shot. Yeah. to 50, 50 going to shoot the three, hard off the glass. Dorn run into after he had possession of that rebound, no call, scrambles from to the ball, 
and there is a timeout called by the CHS coach to make sure that they maintain possession after that scrum happened on the ground. Again, Evac doing everything right with their offensive set to exploit the CHS 1-3-1 zone defense. They have open looks in the corner, and if it's not there, they're passing it back out on the wings, making sure they're looking for the open man. They're doing everything right. Some of the shots just not falling, but the offensive rebounds on both sides are keeping teams close in this game. CHS making a quick substitution. It looks like 32 now in for 24. And Evac keeping their same lineup out there with Blake Moore, Newman, Tudor, Doran, and McAvoy. Quick inbound pass from CHS up to 32. Brings it on the ring. Takes it back up to 15. The top, looking for a long three. And that is short off the front iron. Corralled by McAvoy. Being tested by number 12 in CHS. And he's bringing that ball up. Pass it over to Doran. Doran looking at a dribble drive on 55. Looking for a pocket pass. Bringing it all the way back up to the top. And McAvoy kicks it out to Doran. Sets his feet. Shoots the three, unable to get that rebound. Tied up by Tudor as it came down to 32. Possession going to go the other way. And that is a great, great offensive stand for Evan. Good defensive stand to get that rebound and tie it up to get possession to stay in the number 32. Number 12 dribbling up in the fourth court now for CHS. CHS number 12. Hesitation behind the back dribble. 55 looking to pass it out to the top of the key. Now 24, doing some work down low on number 12, Neiman. Here's the Eagles, dribble drive around that contact. 12 again on the wing. CHS just not finding an opening to get the ball down low. Looking now to 24 to do some work. Triple team finds the open man. And that was a really nice find from number 24. With all of the help, with all the help defense coming from Neiman, someone had to be open. chances this game. 55 looking to pass it out to 50. Little stutter set there from 55. No call for travel. And 50 looking underneath the hoop for number 22. He gets tied up and gets it across baseline pass. Another soft pass from CHS that gets almost stolen by the Evac Eagles. That one is over the top. Too strong of a pass. Teeters again 
there to make that steal and push pace. Blakemore looking to join the splash party. Not available. Great there rebound go. from Neiman up and under. And another foul play on Sam Chess. Too much contact. A massive amount of fouls this quarter for CHS. Six within eight minutes on correction. Within only over six minutes for CHS. You got really doing a number. Tears short again off the front of the rim. Use your legs, someone calls from the crowd. Payback <laughs> 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 keeping their starting lineup in. But net on that. 23 to 15. A long three from CHS. Again, Peters tips the ball, but it gets tipped back up to CHS. Looking to outlet pass 10 over to 12, looking for a three-pointer. And that is off the mark. 12 again, looking to shoot. And off the front of the rim, too soft. Rebound pulled down by Neiman. And Dorn passes it back to McAvoy to set up the offense. Evac 25, CHS 19, only down by six points with a quick four points coming. They desperately want to hear you, but you're not close enough. They said they're getting a little bit, so can you talk right into it? The crowd's mm. I know. Quick four, four minute intermission here at Norta Vista High in Riverside, California. The Evac Eagles pushing the to push pace, get a couple of quick twos to put themselves back in this game, only down by six to start the second half. Let's see how Evac responds, and if they can keep pushing their offense, setting up for those corner threes, and finding the open man down low. Just in general, is the same thing we saw in the first half. 
Not much change needs to happen. Pushing pace, making sure they get open shots. Shots will fall. They just need to be confident and sure that they are making the right decision. Their defensive stand right now was a little bit lackluster. I know towards the end of that first half, but there were some quick, fast-paced shots that happened from number 12 and number 14 from CHS. Credit them for getting down the court fast so the Evac Eagles couldn't set up their defense. When the Evac Eagles are on point, their defense is set. They have been stifling CHS to make bad passes and take very, very difficult shots. Michael Neiman, Mark Blakemore, and Cooper Diaz all coming down with both offensive and defensive rebounds, making it very difficult for CHS to get second chance points. Everyone informed we have our JB girls, even the girls playing in their championship game here at North Vista High, followed shortly by our varsity girls playing for their championship game here as well. So stay tuned on our EVAC live stream channel for upcoming games and more championship action here at North Vista High. Doran looking to inbound the ball. Peters takes it from the backcourt, dribbling up, back over McAvoy on the wing. McAvoy thought about a long three, kicks it over to Peters. Peters being pestered by number 14. Long pass over to Doran on the other side. Back to Peters. Eagles are comfortable and now just getting the ball movement going as they start this quarter. McAvoy down low to Blakemore, who's unable to convert, but Eagles maintain possession. It was a great look for McAvoy, soft touch, Blakemore unable to convert. Look for that again because of the mismatch that Blakemore has on his smaller defender. Teeters back over to McAvoy. McAvoy basically caught across the face, but ball first, according to the referee. Teeter's looking to inbound, gives it to McAvoy. Quick turn over to Doran on the wing. Doran thought about it, but that's going to be a travel off of his stutter step. Call from the referee. Ebeck not looking as aggressive to start the third quarter as they did at the beginning of this game. Let's see if that changes as this quarter goes on. CHS coming in with a quick little weave pattern going over the corner. High ball screen low to 55, who is too strong off of the iron. That is a massive travel from 32 that's not called off of that rebound. 32 gets that ball back up to the top of the key, guarded by number 55 Peters. And now they're looking to set up their offense. Floating pass attempt, knocked off of Blakemore's fingertips, which is just a great defensive effort from Blakemore to close that gap. You can tell that that boy may have played flag football in the past the way he was defending that floater. And now we're looking at the CHS inbound ball. 
looking at going over to 24. Two strong pass come out by Doran. Looking to push pace. It's picked off. Teeters up and the finger roll is there. That is a great pickup by Teeters after the pickoff attempt from Doran was slaughtered away from number 12 on the closeout. Number 12 looking to close the gap off to Schwartz, but a foul called on number 55, Teeters, who said that he got hit across the face. Teeters wasn't even in the vicinity of when that shot went off, but they're gonna give him a quick foul and give 12-2 for what we're going to call a very soft foul. 12 gets the shot to roll. Now still a seven point lead for Eva at 27-20 with six minutes and 36 seconds left. 12 pure again on those two free throw attempts. DHS looking to have a little bit of pressure on the inbound pass. Teeters over to Doran to break that pressure up. Doran back over to McAvoy as they bring it across the court. Looking to swing it all the way over. Teeters, Teeters to Doran. Doran quick pass into Neiman. Too hard of a touch again from Evac down in the paint. They're just unable to get those easy paint shots to fall right now. Not without the pressure from CHS, but they have the opportunity. 12 takes a step back three. Very hard off the glass. Knocked off of Neiman. That is another very difficult call to take if you're an Evac fan. That went straight off of number 24, but they're not giving it to him. Looks like the Evac call is not going that direction. Massive swap from Caleb Doran from behind on number 55. He didn't even see Doran coming from that back door help. Great defensive stand right there. 55 inbounds to number 50. 50 taking it up to the wing. Wing down low to the high post. 55 doing a little bit of work on other 55. Nice little roller off the glass. Even though there was some really good defense being played by the Eagles there. Better shot off that defensive stand. Doran now taking it up in the high wing. Passing it off of number 50. Doran gets it. McAvoy takes the pass off the face, but corrals it somehow still. CHS, quick little runner for McAvoy, doesn't get the roll, but again, they are going to get the call of possession off of Evac. Evac just being too strong down low on the paint. They're gonna have to calm themselves down to make sure that they're getting those runners. 50 off the pass, too strong off the glass. McAvoy corrals it down off the paint. Again, making a quick move. Neiman to Teeters. Teeters on the wing, looking to move the ball. Gets it poked, but he retains possession. He had a chance. Nice find down low for McAvoy. The Evac Eagles are going to have to make sure that they're very, very careful with their possession when they are high up across the arc. The CHS team is really looking to be very aggressive with them. 12 dribbles through, passing out to 14. 14 again down low. Off of 55, unable to corral that pass, goes off his foot. Evac gets the turnover, going to inbound. Some quick substitutions for both CHS and Evac right now. Trustler coming in for Neiman. 22 and it looks like 32 coming in for CHS. Doran pushing pace up to McAvoy. Very dangerous pass, but McAvoy over to, over to Blake here. Doran open on the wing, too soft off the front of the rim. 55 for CHS comes down at the rebound. Now they're pushing pace a little bit. 55 now looking to dribble down to the paint, working down low. He's gonna get the foul called for a late reach in from Blakemore. And 55 is gonna get rewarded for his efforts. Two shots for CHS. Second half action, very reminiscent of first half start. 55 gets that first one to go. Very rapid pace, not a lot of shots falling for either team. Let's see which team actually calms their nerves this second half first and can make an offensive effort to either close the gap or extend their lead. 55 gets the shooter's touch roll off the front of the rim. We have a couple other substitutions. Cassiano's now in for McAvoy to give him a mess. Cassiano's now looking at a long three and just off the front of the rim. Mark Blakemore comes in out of nowhere to haul that rebound in offensive and put it back up, soft touch off the glass to make sure that three was not wasted. Cassiano's had an open look just a little bit too soft. 
Chess now looking at doing a little bit of weave, high post, screen action. 32 is holding on to the ball. Evac looking to just hold tight. Quick little switch off of 55. No dribble penetration happening. 55 going in. Quick little spin move. Doesn't get the roll, but a offensive rebound pulled down by 32. Reaching foul for number 32 on CHS is going to be another foul on Blue. Evac looking in on the ball. Another quick substitution. 32 out, 24 in. Teeters gets the inbound pass on Castellanos. He dribbles up quickly into the forecourt. Stops quick over to Blakemore. Blakemore on the high post, looking for an outlet pass over to Castellanos. Castellanos over to Teeters, who dribbles down, looks at Tressler for an open look, draws the foul again. That is now Jackson Chesler's third foul that he has drawn from CHS in a very quick amount of time. He is doing some dirty work down low for the EVAC Eagles right now and really making sure he gets these shots. Jackson Chesler for a free throw. Short and off the mark, very uncharacteristic of Tressler missing everything on that first free throw. Evac up by six, looking to extend that lead. And before any action happens, we get a timeout from the Evac Eagles bench. Three minutes, 38 seconds left in this third quarter. CHS has been keeping pace this quarter with Evac, trading bucket for bucket. 31 to 25, low scoring affair for both teams who have scored over 50 in each one of their March Gladness games to this point. Fouls more so on CHS this quarter in this game than on the Evac Eagles playing very sound defense. Looking at how they're gonna come out and play the second half of this third quarter, see if they can pull away and actually get put a dent in the CHS defense. 32 now coming back in, 14. It looks like 50 is getting a rest. CHS leaving 55, 32, 12, 14, and 24 in. The EVAC faithful here cheering on their boys to victory, looking at getting another point on the board as Tressler sets up for a second free throw attempt coming out of that timeout. Tressler's free throw is up. And off the front of the rim, soft. And CHS looking to push pace. McAvoy back in for the Eagles. And there's a quick pass, quicker hands by Jackson Tressler to break that play up. Great defensive stand again. Tressler really making a difference this game for Evac coming off the bench. 55 able to get it into 12, way up towards the mid court line. 12 dribble drive on Castellanos. Takes that screen, able to get that shot before Teeters is able to close out. Down by four in this third quarter. Castellanos down into Blakemore. Blakemore off to McAvoy for a long three. And that is soft off the front rim. Tressler gets that rebound. 32 again takes an additional step that I don't think the referees are seeing after he pulls down that rebound. Not dropping the ball, but not able to get that ball. 14 kicking out to 12. 12 for a three. Rims in and out. That was an open, clean look, just unable to get it to drop. McAvoy pushing pace right now. Kicks it over into the corner for Tressler with a quick move and a reaching foul that is not called. Absolutely got manhandled, held up on his off hand by number 14, but they are not going to make that call. Making sure that CHS wins Shane's possession off of that defensive stand. Only down by four. 14 dribbling through, kicking out to 12. 12 again open for three off the back iron. 12 gonna go with a jump ball. Even though Blakemore had position coming over the back was 24. Subs coming in for both Evac and for CHS. Doran coming in for Castellanos. Neiman coming in for Teeters. Teeters, this is the first rest he's gotten all game. Doran now to McAvoy. McAvoy now pushing pace. Up past the point, pushing it back over to Doran on the wing. Doran making a very quick move to Tressler, who's unable to corral that pass. And Evac right now is being held to a very limited amount of points this third quarter. 
Quick substitution for CHS. Like 14 is coming back in. 12 dribbling off. McAvoy going around the high screen. 12, Jackson Tressler picks him up on the corner. Tressler now looking at a double screen for 55 to 24. They pass the ball back up to 14 with a quick move to his left. Dribbles into his own player but maintains possession. <laughs> and Tressler able to get that steal. And Neiman comes up with the ball somehow out of that scrum as Dory pushes base to Blakemore. Quick turnaround. And that's what the Eagles have been looking for is a quick fast break point to make sure that they can push this expert CHS defense off. And they're going to get a foul call on McAvoy. Somehow they're going to call CHS no travel after the bump into McAvoy. And they're going to call the foul on McAvoy with no shot. But he didn't go up, so the call was on the floor. They already gave possession to CHS, so no substitution coming in for the end of this quarter yet. 32 going to the top of that wing, passing back to 55 between the circles, dribbling on the wing, gives it back to 12. It's going to have to be picked up quickly by Neiman, who closes yeah. that gap. Doran comes down with that rebound, gets hacked, passes over to Doran, cross court, pushing pace again to Blakemore, who rolls it up and in. The connection from the point to Blakemore has been the difference this game. Quick two points again for Evac. They are now up by eight with one minute left in this third quarter. 12, the point guard for CHS doing everything he can do to find someone open to get a couple of points. 12 now from the corner and a quick timeout from CHS to get a play drawn up with one minute, less than one minute correction on the clock with this third quarter. Evac again, pushing pace, now up by eight with a quick four fast break points off of some hard rebounds, some outlet passes to the wings, and then Blakemore streaking down to the paint to catch that pass from the point guard and put that up for two. Again, low scoring affair. We've had some great attempts from both teams. Evac unable to convert on a lot of paint points this quarter, not without the effort from the CHS defense. Need to get some easy rolls coming Evac's way. CHS number 12, their point guard, really leading the way. Making sure that he can not only get open, but he's looking for who to pass to to set up the offense. Nice step back two point attempts, unable to connect on three this game yet, which could be a game changer if they start connecting from behind the arc. CHS makes a quick substitution, 50, 24, 55, 12 and 22 now in. Neiman, Tressler, McAvoy, Doran, and Blakemore in for the Evac Eagles to close out this quarter. 50 gets that inbound pass to 55. 55 over to 24. That was some quick passes. Yeah, Mark! That's a, that's, that's a heartbreaker after the amount of effort they put in. And Doran expertly draws the foul on number 22 on his hip, was able to drive into him, get that blocking foul. That is now four fouls for CHS. And we are looking at Doran inbounding the ball over to McAvoy. No help. McAvoy gets open before that five seconds is called. McAvoy dribbling over on the wing. Double team. Finds Blakemore. Gets hammered by number 55 after he loses the ball. Looks like it went off Blakemore's own knee is what the referees are calling. 55 ran into number 31 Blakemore and no call on the floor. They're letting the boys play for sure. A lot of calls going either way. 50 pulls up from three. Short Neiman box out attempt. Great position by Neiman to make sure that CHS did not have that ball. Again, Evac playing step back Tressler. That's going to be long, but Tressler is fouled on the closeout attempt. So he's going to get rewarded with three free throws. Let's see if Tressler can make CHS pay for that closeout attempt. He's gonna get three shots, 3.8 seconds left. Evac still up by eight here in the third quarter. That's long off the back rim for Tressler. 
Still got two more to try and increase this EVAC Eagles lead before the fourth quarter. And yeah! that is pure. Tressler, again, playing the mental game, knew he was long, took a very small step back, and buried that free throw attempt. Here's his third attempt. Able to put it up strong. Gets a lot of rolls, unable to do anything with it. And it looks like C.A. Chess is going to be happy with just going out of this corner without getting a shot attempt off. Evac now up by nine going into the fourth quarter. What we'd like to see as Evac Eagles fans is it increased very early on in this fourth quarter, making CHS play some desperation offense, drawing fouls, still being as aggressive as they have been all game, but Evac playing smarter basketball than CHS. CHS is really gonna have to come out on fire, making sure that not only are their shots dropping, but they are making good, crisp passes to really put pressure on Evac. Evac, I wanna see the same thing this quarter that we've seen all game, strong defense, quick pace, finding the open man, cashing the threes, and making the right play. We have eight minutes to see if the EVAC junior, junior varsity boys can close this out for the March Gladness Championship. Being here and seeing CHS play in previous years, we know as EVAC fans, they are not going to go easy this fourth quarter. They're going to be tough, they're going to be physical, and it looks like the referees are going to allow that physicality to end this game. CHS has possession to start this fourth quarter, and we are underway with eight minutes left. Number 12 travels on that hesitation step. Dragged his pivot foot. And we are going to maintain possession here with CHS. Some very uh, stifling defense, full court pressure coming from CHS. Lakemore into Doran. Doran into Neiman with an over the head pass. That was a great find from Caleb Doran. I would credit him with half the points that he even got for that because he really set him up brilliantly with that pass. 50, driving in, looking for the open man over on the wing. 14, back out to number 10. That was a quick travel, again, not called. After possession, over the back, desperation shot from 14 to get back to play. Doran over to Teeters, Aaron pass, corralled by Teeters, back out to McAvoy at the top of the wing. McAvoy over to Caleb Doran over on the wing. He's gonna make a quick move on 50. Again, pass into a lot of traffic. Mark Blakemore comes up with it, somehow gets his own rebound and gets the roll. This is exactly what I wanted to see from Evac getting quick, easy points to start the fourth quarter. Evac now up by 13, 12 with a long shot, longer rebound because of that. Corralled by Evac, pushing the pace up over. The midcourt line teeters now back to McAvoy on the wing. He has an open shot, thinking about going, but just going to drive in, happy with playing passing, making sure that he can get to the open man. Doran with a miss, but Blakemore again with another offensive rebound. Mark Blakemore is taking no prisoners this quarter. Two offensive rebounds, two offensive putbacks. That is another four points for Blakemore. 14, unable to get the roll off of the up and under reverse layup. Blakemore going up, and again, just pushing the pace, unable to answer the CHS. And Evac pushing the points on the board with the pace of play. We now have 44-27, a massive 17 point deficit for the CHS Royal Blue team at the start of this fourth quarter. We had 17 quick points happen as a deficit for CHS. Seven points quickly turned into 10 off the, off the first handful of possessions for the EVAC Eagles. Blakemore looks like a man on fire right now. Coming down the offensive rebounds. Teeters making sure that he slows pace and gets the right play called up. Evac setting up their defense. McAvoy and Doran really making sure that they can find the open man. High screen, 
going back to 24 at the top of the chains. Another cycling defensive stand. Great dive from Neiman to be able to get that ball to McAvoy. McAvoy trying to push pace again to Blakemore. 50 on CHS was not having another two points easy from Evac. Swatted that pass away on the closeout. And now Evac is setting up for their inbound pass. Passing it out to Doran. Doran now looking for Blakemore. Blakemore over to Teeters, who's open on the wing. Looking at driving against 50. Reverse layup. And that is swatted away from number 24. And there's going to be a quick reach-in foul called on number 31, Blakemore. 24 got a lot of ball, got a lot of arm and hand on Teeters as well. But like I said, they're letting the boys play. And the Evac Eagles just have to be prepared for that. Hey, stop short next time. Not that the commentator should know, Somebody having watched the, the game. Says. Thank you <laughs> from my color person to my left. All right, CHS coming back again. 12 making a quick pump fake floater. No good, no backside help. So Doran comes down with that rebound. Quick pace up to McAvoy. Screen from Teeters to get him straight up. McAvoy over to Doran. Doran on the wing gets blocked by number 50. Again, the fast pace, aggressive style from the wings on Ebac is really giving CHS a lot of trouble. Drawing fouls very easily from CHS. Teeter's looking to inbound the ball. Quickly going to inbound over to McAvoy in the backcourt. Dribbling on number 12, who has been playing some very strong defense on McAvoy, making sure that dribbling off his foot, which means it's going to be a backcourt violation. McAvoy is really going to have to start to look to pass that hole to quickly get that defender off of him or make a quick dribble move to put him on his heels. 12 is playing very, very tight defense on McAvoy as he gets that ball. 55 inbounds now to 24 for CHS. 24 being guarded by Neiman out high. And now 14 dribbles down, stops, gets it down low to 55, who pulls it back out, dribbles off of Doran. And looks like CHS is going to maintain possession down low on the baseline. Baseline inbound pass from CHS. Doesn't look like CHS knows he has the ball. 14 gets it knocked off of Caleb Dorn again. Dorn playing some really tight defense down at number 14, making sure they don't get easy inbound passes or looks at the basket. 14 does a quick step back. from number 12 after he shook off Sam McAvoy. McAvoy dribbling in the fourth court, passes back over to Teeters. Teeters it's dribbling in, good. gives it back to McAvoy, top of the key. Teeters open right there, quick little move off of the glass, doesn't get the roll, but Blakemore again is there and draws the foul off of 24. The great thing about every single dribble drive attempt that the Eagles make is they know that Mark Blakemore is going to come down with that offensive rebound. Mark Blakemore drawing that foul, getting rewarded, cashing that first free throw attempt, putting the Eagles back up by 15 here with four minutes and 30 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Blakemore's second attempt. Oh, just rims out. Teeters comes down. Yeah! If Blakemore's not there, Teeters is there. Ripped it out of 24's arms for an offensive rebound. Unable to cash in on that attempt. Doran playing some massive defense, playing like a man twice his size, taking the contact, trying to rip the ball out. CHS is gonna maintain possession after it goes off of Doran. He is not allowing CHS to get any easy buckets. 12 with a step back attempt, goes hard off the glass. No help on the offensive side for CHS or for Eva to come down with that rebound and pop back out to 12. His second shot attempt came down to Teeters, who got wrestled to the floor, but they're saying that he was the one that initiated the fall, which means that's a travel call on 55 Teeters. CHS going to maintain possession, and they inbound to number 32. Tressler now making a third appearance off the bench for the Evac Eagles, seeing if he can make sure. Great defense on help side from Teeters to knock that shot away. But an errant pass from McAvoy to Doran just gets easily stolen by CHS. 12 looking at shaking off McAvoy again, dribbling for the paint, cashing it out to number 32. 32 back to number 14, makes a quick little head fake 
on Doran. Doran now moves over. That is a hard shot off the glass of 55. He shook his defender, Titos, but unable, looking, missing for the ball. Tressler trying to save it, but the Eagles are gonna take a quick timeout to calm their offense down right now, just not seeing each other, knowing where it needs to be and what needs to happen. CHS, however, unable to cash in on those errant pass and turnover attempts. 45 to 30, 15 points left in this fourth quarter. CHS doing everything they can to find the open man, get open looks, trying for a lot of three-point attempts. They've been long, they've been strong, but they've also gotten some more offensive rebounds this quarter than they have in the previous quarters. So they are getting second chance attempts. Coach Jay Myers calming down his boys, letting them know that they have three minutes and 30 seconds left in this game to play strong and to play smart, making sure that they know how to help and how to defend against these players. 12 getting the roll off of that drive attempt. CHSL getting full court pressure. Teeters getting the ball in, passing it back over to McAvoy after that attempt. McAvoy dribbling into the fourth court, trying to find somebody. Nobody picks him up, and he just goes the entire length of the court. That is great vision by Sam McAvoy, knowing that there was no help defense after he beat this man. 12 again, going into three defenders, and they're going to call a reach-in attempt on McAvoy as number 12 got caught up and tied up by three evac defenders. Inbound comes to CHS, 50 playing at the top of the key, slings it out to the wing, 14 is gonna get a reach-in foul on Caleb Doran for some, some very aggressive defense that actually happened right there. Caleb Doran not letting any easy points happen coming in. Quick substitution. Michael Neiman is most likely going to finish out the last two minutes and 45 seconds of this game. Tressler again giving some great time. 12 bounces off his own knee. Dribble attempt unable to happen. These referees are just passing that ball back in, not really letting the boys know that that's what they are looking for. Doran, no look pass, intercepted by 50. He read that the entire way. 12 with a little scoop and score. Boys need to calm down and play smart with the last two minutes and 20 seconds of this game. Teeters over the wing to Doran. Doran pushes it back out to Teeters. Teeters happy to hold on to the ball. Dribbles out and a quick foul with two minutes left in this game. There's a lot of time left to foul. But they want to stop the clock and hopefully get a takeaway. Now with only two fouls on the board, CHS has, uh, correct, correction, three fouls on the board. They now have... Two more fouls to give before they put E back at the line. McAvoy and Teeters looking to play a little catch back and forth. So another very, very quick, soft foul that they're now calling because of the time left in the game. They want to put E back at the line, but what they don't know is E back, even though missing a couple of their free throws, are very, very strong free throw shooters. McAvoy dribbling into the paint, gets knocked down from behind by number 12, and that's going to put one of the Best free throw shooters at the line, Sam McAvoy, is here for two. Evac looking to extend this lead, only up by 13. McAvoy uncharacteristically misses everything on that free throw attempt. CHS coach playing the psychological game with Evac right now. Wants to preserve time on the clock, wants to preserve points that they can make up. McAvoy's second attempt is up, and again, short, but Blakemore comes down with another offensive rebound. He may have more offensive rebound than defensive rebounds this game. McAvoy, again, looking at getting another foul attempt from CHS. McAvoy looking to cash both of these attempts and make sure that he can extend that lead with under two minutes left in this game. McAvoy's first attempt. And that is up, and that is pure. Nothing but net for Sam McAvoy, extending the Eagles' lead to 14. Sam McAvoy's second attempt. 
And that one is up, and that one is strong. But again, Blake Moore there for an offensive board. And we are going to play catch really quickly. McAvoy happy with taking that foul to get him back at the line. More and more and more practice shots for McAvoy from the free throw line, keeping Blake Moore happy and fed in the offensive paint with those rebounds. McAvoy is up and pure again. Evac is just extending this lead free throw by free throw. Up now by 15 again in this fourth quarter with one minute and 47 seconds left. McAvoy's second attempt. Up, and they're gonna count that one. 50 points again. That is now four games in a row. The Evac Eagles have scored 50 or more points. 55 with a massive block from Blakemore. Oh my goodness, the teeters on the trail. And Gordon has eyes in the back of his head. Flexing going on all over the court from Teeters to Doran and Blakemore with just a massive swat. Number 12 coming out, Doran coming out of nowhere to get that rebound, he's gonna be followed by number 32. This is just, right now, a clinic in the fourth quarter from Evac, making sure that they are boxing out, getting the rebounds on both sides of the court and just not allowing CHS any attempt after that first shot. Doran now looking to extend that lead with his first shot, and that is up, and that is in. We're looking at a possible 20-point differential if Doran makes this second free throw for the Evac Eagles. And that is going to be short and off the mark with a free throw violation for missing pretty much everything. I would like to discredit Caleb Doran for the amount of energy he has put in this game. Emptying the tank and not having enough muscle to put that free throw in. CHS is going to have to play some quick ball right now to get a quick two. 14, oh, not Mark seeing Hansen. Blakemore there to be able to knock that pass down. Doran now making sure that he's playing defense and offense, making sure that he can get that ball. Peters now just happy to hold on to possession, passing it over to McAvoy, and they're going to dribble the rest of this time out. Being respectful to CHS. CHS taking a quick substitution timeout. Evac is going to maintain possession. Evac is going to do the same. And the boys definitely deserve a standing ovation for the amount of effort they put into this game. Every single one of them putting in maximum effort, getting a chance to get some rest. CHS doing the same. A very respectful and classy move from both teams, knowing that this game has been won by Evac. 40 seconds on the clock. Tressler now on the wing, dribbling that ball out. Giving it back to Thompson. Thompson now dribbling high into the circle, giving it to Haddad. Haddad now looking at going up, putting up that shot, not getting it to roll, but that's going to be off the glass. I would say making sure Evac uses the clock more important than taking that shot. However, the dad was in and he had the lane. You can't discredit a shot when the lane is open. CHS gonna take another substitution timeout with 18.5 seconds left in this game. Evac Eagles up by 19 points. Let's go defense! We have Castellanos, Haddad, Thompson, Tressler, and Grayson Holder in for the last 15 seconds of this game. 34 is going to dribble looking for an open lane to pass. Tressler again with some stifling defense, unable to come up with it. However, we have seven seconds. Count that down. We're gonna go with a travel call on number 10 for CHS, giving possession to the Eagles, who are going to easily dribble out the last bit of this game. Everyone counting down the last three seconds, and the Evac Eagle, JV Boy! just outplayed in the fourth quarter. Mark Blakemore really had himself a game on the offensive boards, giving the Eagles a great effort to get those second chance points. The boys played well, found the open man, took the open shot. Credit to Thompson, Tressler, McAvoy, and Doran for hitting the open threes when they were there to really extend the lead in the first half. And then playing strong defense down in the paint 
Teeters, Neiman, and Blake were just really making it difficult for the CHS team to have any effort throughout that game. Eagles fans, let's hear you one last time for these JV boys putting in an end-to-end -end effort this entire March Gladness tournament. Signing off for the last time, EVAC JV boys live stream coming to you from Norta Vista uh, High School in Corona, California. EVAC, boy, EVAC, uh, EVAC JV boys win 53-34 and take the March Gladness championship.